Company on D&D TikTok and Beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm using the first set of RPG dice I ever owned. First up, let's roll for bread. Four, beer bread. This is a seeded bread made with Grand Rapids' own local brew, Perrin Gold, and it's awesome. What's that? Next up, roll for Maine. Four, peanut butter. Peanut butter for the second sandwich in a row. And on track for another meatless one. That's okay by me, but I know some of you are going to be mad. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Two, port salut. This is a semi-soft cheese similar to camembert or brie. It's nice and creamy, but it's a little on the funky side. It looks like kind of like mus monster sure cheese, but work, depending on squishier. What going forward. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Four apple and 12 roll twice. All right, let's roll two for that 12. Apple is fire. Double eights, double tomato. All right, well, apples and peanut butter yes, go together well. This will add a Trump's nice crunch, a little bit of sweetness. And should go cheese. Shut up, fetus. Okay with the cheese as well. I'm a little less confident about the tomato, depending on what else we get with it, but just what we have so far, tomato could act like more of a fruit in this situation, pairing with the peanut butter in the same way that strawberry jelly or something else might. The ratio is going to be a little weird since we did roll double tomato, so it is going to be tomato heavy. We'll see if that is a good thing or a bad thing. All right, next up, wild magic. 15, tahine. This is interesting. This will pair with the tomatoes for- I, I got this! I forgot to tell you guys, I got it! I haven't used it yet, though! I just got it the other day. I have it! Thank you. Hashtag Jesus cheese. Brew, I swear to God, you you are gonna get thrown in the lion's den with the rest of them. What do I use this on, though? What do I use this on? Mango, fruit, savory things, pineapple, watermelon, nuggets, for sandwiches, margaritas, watermelon. I don't really drink. Um, I guess that's not technically true. I only drink. I only have two. I only have two functions. I either don't drink or I drink to get absolutely fucked up. There's no in between. Watermelon. It sounds like you use it on fruit. Okay, good enough for sure we'll see how it goes with everything else last but not least it's the d20 sauce roll here we go two ube spread betrayed by my favorite mug well everything i said before may be out the window with this one i think we have a better chance of ube pairing not though with some of the things on this sandwich than we did last time we'll see let's get it put together and get our toothpicks in here and let's go ahead and get it cut in half a tomato and and candle wax sandwich. <laughs> All right, and let's Oof. take a look at that cross section. Oh, that's <laughs> All right, meow, this is definitely a huh? strange combination. Hold on, I can't do the whole review like this. Okay. All right, let's give it a taste and see what we've got. This is strange. I would say that it's not immediately ruined by the ube. The ube kind of goes with the peanut butter and almost makes like a peanut butter and jelly. And the tahine, the tomato, that all kind of goes together. It's the cheese that ruins it. It's just, it's funky. I don't mind funky cheese, but not in my peanut butter and jelly. And I think because of that, I'm going to have to go with a 4.3. It was close, Thanks. but it just kind of fell Did flat. Someone say cheese? And I'm going to call it the cheese salute your shorts. Have a good one. Good afternoon, Dean. <sighs> Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. This episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by the Drop Dots D20 from Kess Toys. They've got a Kickstarter running right now to produce these giant spiky D20s. Our sponsor! Let's and go! Check it out. All right, let's get into it. First up, let's roll for bread. Two, English muffin. Just like oh, last no. time, my English oh. muffins are frozen. This time I heated it longer so I could open it with a fork and preserve the crannies. Wait, what? You open it with a fork to preserve what? Longer so I could open it with a fork and preserve the crannies. If it were me, I'd leave it at that, but... What, what does that mean, preserve? Is it something like these holes? Wait, is this, is this why I don't think English muffins are worth the effort to make them? Have I just been making them wrong this entire time? You all always want me to toast it darker, so here you go. It ended up... Holy sh... There it is! Next. That, 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 that is literally why I don't like English muffins and carnets! Here you go. Dude, fucking half of it is goddamn destroyed. It ended up burnt. Next up, let's roll for our main. Eight, roast beef. Honestly, at this point, I pretty much would have taken anything other than peanut butter, but I'm excited about roast beef. Let's do it. You like roast beef, shot? Next up, roll for cheese. Two, pork salou. 
All right, I'm glad we get to take another mm. chance at this cheese. I know there's plenty of things that it'll pair well with, and I'm hoping that whatever we get to finish out this sandwich works well with it so we can give it a fair shot. All right, next up, let's roll for roughage. One, raisins, and eight, tomatoes. All right, well, I definitely mm. think the raisins will pair nicely with the cheese. And the roast beef lie. in this context won't I be I gave you a shiver. I don't know about the raisins and tomatoes, dude. I don't know about that one, Chief. I think tomato will be a nice addition. I don't here. know about that. I don't that. have very much left, but I have an English muffin's worth left. It'll bring a little bit of tartness and acid without being too much for what we've got going on already. So far, so good. Next up, wild So magic. optimistic. It's bacon! All right, this bacon got a little bit crispier than I normally do, but it'll still be a great addition to this sandwich. Adding some salt. Is that microwaved fat, bacon? Adding some crunch. Bacon goes great with cheese. It goes great with it tomatoes. Doesn't look like it grows pan great fried. with flavors. Now we're cooking. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Three. That's banana pepper mustard. I've had this on the show once before, and while it does look good, mustard seed, it doesn't really have a mustardy flavor. It, it looks tastes good, more like though. a not hot hot sauce, like a very mild hot sauce. I need to try that. Sauce, but it's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. So I think that this will actually try go that. well together. All right, let's go ahead. And Hang on. I got to get my phone out. I got to make a note for later. Banana pepper mustard. All right, anyways, continue. We get our toothpicks in here to hold it together, mm. and let's get it cut in half. Oh, that looks delicious, Cap. Let's take a look at that cross-section. <sighs> All right, not uh -oh. bad. I've seen uh, worse. Yeah, I mean, All right, I guess, well, it's Friday but... again. Can we finish out the week strong? Let's give it a taste and find out. All right, okay. Yeah, that sauce... Brings it all together, I think. A little sweet, a little tart. The bacon is really great all together. This is a solid sandwich. I think on other bread it would have been Wait, even he's got higher, but I'm going to put this at a 9.2. And I'm going to call it the Banana Pepper's Ghost because really? even when they're off the menu, they still haunt me. Thanks again to Kess Toys for sponsoring this video. Go ahead and go check out their Kickstarter. They're tagged down below. Well, I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll see you Monday for another sandwich. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'll be using these purple and green dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks, let's hope they're lucky. First up, roll for bread. Five, Italian. All right, two slices of Italian bread toasted up and ready to go. My opinion on Italian bread still stands. You can't, you can't tell me if you looked at that, if I handed you that as white bread, and I was like, oh, here's some white bread, you'd go, uh, excuse me, uh, Senor Flats, uh, that's actually Italian bread. No, you wouldn't. You'd just go, oh, okay. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Eight, roast beef. Roast beef again, huh? Well, I'm not complaining. I find it fascinating that even though I use different dice every day, there's still certain things that end up getting rolled more than others. All right, let's roll for cheese. One, vegan provolone. During season one, I had my first vegan cheddar, oh, and this will be my first vegan I, provolone. Oh, I try to slice by itself, and I have to say I like it better. It's Please, got a nice smoky no. All right, next up, I'm we'll sorry, rockets. man. One raisins and four apple. I do not know why the dice think I want to eat so You know many. what? The hashtag cheese is cheese. What about that? That ain't cheese. Raisins on sandwiches. But honestly, they're not that bad. They end up mostly just being a little bit of a sweet note. Dude, this guy's getting raisin sandwiches apple, on gonna like... Be just fine. Somebody commented last video about me being the CEO of fruit on sandwiches. And they're not wrong. It might be weird, but it could definitely be worse. Next up, let's roll wild magic. Three, cereal. <laughs> well, I've got apples and I've got raisins, so I'm gonna go with these apple cinnamon checks that I have. Kind of lean into the sweet, lean into the apple. These should pair fine, add what a nice in crunch. The be interesting fuck? to see how they work with the rest of the sandwich. All right, last but not least. <laughs> Hello sir, this is the cheese inspection and I wanted to inform you that cheese is definitely cheese. Thank you for your time. I I, I can't believe we just watched checks go on at series. It's the sandwich. sauce roll. 19 kimchi mayo. Oh no. Honestly, I don't know what sauce I was expecting, no! but it was this one. But the Wait, creaminess is that spicy and a little bit of heat, I think will actually be okay here. Let's wait. get it put together. Wait, kimchi mayo. Wait, wait. I was thinking kimchi mayo. Wait, what is kimchi mayo? Wait, wait, what is kimchi, kimchi mayo? mayo? Kimchi is spicy mayo? 
Oh, it's spicy mayo. Oh, I like Honestly, spicy mayo. I don't know what sauce yeah, I, like. <laughs> I don't know about spicy mayo on uh, raisins and Czechs, though. Spiking, I don't know about that. But it wasn't this one. <laughs> but the creaminess and oh a little God, bit of heat. That I think looks we'll awful. actually be okay here. Let's get it put together <laughs> as best as we can. And let's get our toothpicks in here to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. Interesting. All right. All right. So a lot of sweeter elements together with a smoky cheese and spicy sauce with beef. I think it'll be okay. Let's give it a taste. All right. Well, it's definitely crunchy. Huh. That's interesting. You know, I would swear that there are like mesquite barbecue chips on this sandwich. Something about how the smoky cheese and the spicy kimchi and the crunchy cereal all come together makes me think of barbecue chips. It's not a bad sandwich overall. I'm going to go with what? a 6.6. And I'm going to call it Breakfast at Kim's. All in all, not a terrible Monday sandwich. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you Wednesday. That's actually like kind of surprising. I thought it was going to be way Good worse than that. D&D TikTok. Also, I, did, I actually don't think we're going to make it to 67. Because I think he's doing it every other day now. Welcome beyond and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Let's get right into it and roll for bread. Five, Italian. All right, got my two slices of Italian bread toasted up and ready to go. Not changing, not changing. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Uh, one, sardines. Ooh. All right, well, I have never had sardines before. Uh oh I'm not a huge fish guy. I mean, I'm uh -oh. okay with tuna and uh -oh. I like pretty much oh, anything no. else that comes out of the water. Shrimp, crab, all that stuff. I have to say uh I'm, I'm pretty scared. I don't think this is going to be good. Hopefully I can get some stronger flavors maybe to cover it up. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's roll for cheese. Four, Munster. I love Munster. It's creamy. It's not a particularly oh, strong Oh, no. Don't cheese. put it on the I fish. Oh, God. To cover those sardines. All right. Next up, let's roll roughage. Five cucumber and six lettuce. Well, I rolled two of the most mild vegetables I have on this list. I don't think the cucumber is going to do much, but add crunch. And the same thing with the lettuce. Hmm. This is not boding well. All right. Next up, we've got wild magic. 10, pickled ginger. Okay, all right. This has a stronger flavor. It's a palate cleanser when eaten with sushi, so maybe this will help. At the very least, ginger is supposed to help settle your stomach, so I've got that going for me, if nothing else. All right, well, we've arrived at the D20 sauce roll. I don't know if there's any saving this I one. I wouldn't have but it, but... Hopefully we roll something at least palatable. 17, Taco Bell Avocado Ranch. I love Taco Bell. I don't think that this is going to help. Maybe a stronger sauce would have. It just isn't oh, going to be enough. No. All right, let's get our toothpicks in there to hold it together. Oh, and let's that's get it cut tough. <laughs> that's tough, and dude. Let's take a look at that cross section. Oh, hell no. Okay. All right, well, it's time to give it a taste test. I do not have high hopes. <laughs> it, it looks... Oh, please. Ugh. Just, just, uh-oh, he's going for it. Duh, no. Oh, man, no. I, mm, I was hoping that maybe the, he's having the, that the moment again. would help. This is, this, it tastes <laughs> like licking the floor of a bait shop. <laughs> this is one of the worst things I've ever tasted. It took me literally half an hour to eat this entire sandwich. I am going to give it a zero for sure. And I'm going to call it the failed stealth check, because even in its sushi disguise, the sardines were incredibly noticeable. Eat up, Earl. Well, I hope you all have a better day than I did. I'll see you on Friday. This has probably been, like, hands Good down, afternoon. the worst series of sandwiches, other than that 110, that we've ever seen. Good afternoon, like, Dean. This is genuinely the worst sandwiches. See you, TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, let's roll for I bread. Actually, for once, I actually really hope he gets a good one. Four, Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel bread is a sprouted grain bread made using a recipe supposedly taken directly from the Bible. After Wednesday's sandwich, I could sure use some divine intervention. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Eight, roast beef. 
Man, we have really been hitting the roast beef this season, but I'm not complaining, roast beef is delicious. And honestly, pretty much anything would be an improvement over Wednesday. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Three, pepper jack. Mm, I don't pepper, like pepper jack's jack, not my but favorite, but I don't hate it. Still way and better than the, the other days. nice with the roast beef. So far, so good. Next up, let's roll roughage. Two tomatillos and 12 roll twice. All right, oh. let's roll for that 12. What's tomatillos? <laughs> Double twos, more Wait. tomatillos. You just got... I think this is the first time the dice have decided on a triple portion of the same ingredient. Tomatillos are sort of like tomatoes. They're more so sour pure. and denser in the middle. You can eat them cooked. Wait, or how is he going to fit all these? Or something, and you can eat them raw, although they're, they're pretty sour raw. They'll add a nice, bright flavor, but this might be Oh, I thought he was going to cook we'll kind see. of all Next three Next up, of them. let's roll Wild Magic. 18, salt and pepper. All right, well, this definitely seems to be a little bit of mercy <clears throat> from the powers that be. Just a nice bit of seasoning without adding anything crazy. I will take it. All right, last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 13, dill pickle mustard. All right, I definitely think this was a winning choice out of all the sauces we could have rolled. The dill and vinegar will be right there with the tomatillos flavor-wise. And mustard and roast beef go great I don't know how this guy has all so these fancy-ass mustards. should be pretty good. He's got a mustard for everything. Let's get our toothpicks in here to hold it together. Like, no and joke, he has like cut. seven types of mustard. Like, who the fuck has seven types of mustard? And let's take a look at that cross-section. Well, it's a nice looking sandwich for sure. All right, I'm pretty optimistic about this one. Let's give it a taste. I hope this one's better for him after that last one. All right, yeah, this is not too bad. Definitely got a little bit of that weird uh, tightness that you kind of get in your cheeks when you eat something pretty sour. But I think with the mustard and the dill pickle, the sour isn't out of place. This is a pretty good combination. It's not like perfect. I maybe would have put less tomatillos on it if I were just making it by choice. You wouldn't have to twist my arm to get me to eat this again. And it is a vast improvement from Wednesday. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 and I'm gonna call it not Bruce bad. Band. I hope you all have a great Labor Day weekend and I'll see you on Wednesday. Not bad at all. All right, there's actually no more, so I guess we're gonna stop at 65, but man, that was, I'm not gonna lie, that was probably the most painful series of sandwiches we've ever seen. Like that was, that was tough. That was actually tough on him.